Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Please ski the situation that is on top of my head called my hair. We're not even going to talk about it. So for today's video, I came up with this makeup look here. I absolutely love it. I think it's absolutely beautiful. The two palettes that I used for today's makeup tutorial was these two minis from Colourpop. We all have seen these going about all over the place. So this is actually the second time I have dug into these and they worked beautifully on the eyes. So yeah, it's just a wee simple makeup tutorial today, guys. I used some new favourites, some old favourites, some new products I've never tried before and some, did I say new favourites? But anyway, yeah, it's just a whole mixture of makeup today and this was the makeup that I came up with. So if you want to know how I got this makeup look, then just keep on watching. <laughs> for primer today, this is a new one from Rude Cosmetics. I'm not too sure if it actually is a new product, but it's new to me. I actually got sent this there in PR. So this is the pore, oh. <laughs> Pore, no graphic. <laughs> I'm not even joking, that is literally what it says. Oh dear, oh god, rude cosmetics. So, this is the Pore No Graphic X Rated Exceptional Hydrating Pore Minimizing Primer. That is the consistency of it there. As you can see, it is a clear kind of like gel like formula. So, I'm just going to focus this just around like my pore area, just like my T zone. So, I'm guessing this is just going to be like the pore professional from a benefit without the colour or pigment to it. If I'm being honest, I'm not really a fan of pore minimising products. I'm not too sure why. I just don't like that silicone-y, like dimethicone feel on my fingers or on my skin. Because I have quite a few breakouts on this part of my face, obviously I'm going to have like a wee lumps and bumps there. So, if I actually just massage that primer up to those areas to see if it actually does smooth those areas out a wee bit. It's actually made my skin, as I say, just pretty soft. It doesn't necessarily feel as if it's hydrating my skin just yet. It just does feel as if it's completely blurred out my face and just kind of give my skin like a good canvas just ready for foundation. And it actually does feel quite smooth over my breakouts as well. Okay guys, so then for foundation, I'm going to be using the Double Coverage Matte Foundation from Primark. This is in the shade Nude. As you can see, I have no fake tan on at the minute, but this is still going to be a tad dark for me. Um, but we can blend it down if we need to, which we probably will. That is far too much. So I'm just going to start buffing this in with a Jess Up define and buff and brush. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what is your favourite part of your makeup routine. Do you like doing your base or do you like working on the eyes? I personally love doing my base makeup. I just love perfecting my skin but giving myself like a complete blank canvas to work on and then starting on the eyes. I love highlighting, bronzing and of course blush. <laughs> but I just love perfecting the skin. Even whenever I'm watching YouTube tutorials, like yes I do love watching people do their eye makeup but it's the base makeup I am really, really intrigued by. I love knowing what everybody's loving, what their favourite products are, what their favourite primers are, foundation, whatever. Like I just love face makeup. <laughs> so I'm going to be using a new concealer. I'm sure it's probably not new to most of you guys, but it's new to me because every time I go into Primark, I'm never able to find my colour. So this is the Primark My Perfect Colour Liquid Concealer. It does claim to be medium coverage. It has vitamin E and aloe vera in it. And I actually can't see my shade. Oh, it's at the bottom. <laughs> so I got the shade Cool Sand and it does seem to be a pretty good colour for me so we shall see. So I usually don't put on this much concealer that actually grinds me whenever people put this much concealer on. Especially whenever it's a really full coverage concealer. The skin on your under eyes with it being so delicate and you've already went in with like a full coverage foundation. So you then don't need to further the coverage with concealer so I usually put just like a couple of wee light dots but for some reason I don't have much trust in this concealer <laughs> so as I'm like kind of piling it on and I'm still dunking in. So I'm going to take this wee beauty sponge from Buff and Blend. I do have a discount code with them, I will leave it down below, it's for 20% off. 
their brushes and these wee sponges as well. They are based in Ireland, so it's an Irish brand. Please do excuse my face, I still haven't got around to shaving it yet. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, do you know what? I actually did load on that concealer because I really did not have hopes at all. Never mind high hopes. But it's actually not bad. It's definitely not like my Bar I Am All Night Long concealer. This is one I had tried last week for the first time and I instantly just fell in love with it. Absolutely love this foundation or concealer, sorry. It's definitely concealed. It's brightened the tiniest wee bit. It's given the tiniest wee bit of coverage, which as I say, because I go in with the full coverage foundation, I don't necessarily need any more coverage in this area. So that's what I use concealer for, is for more brightness in that area. So whenever I'm blending out my concealers, I'll, I like to take it like nearly into my waterline. I like to blend it right up in my eye basically. I just like to take whatever excess is left on the sponge and just like to run that just up and down the bridge of the nose and then onto the forehead. This is probably going to be no surprise. I'm going to be taking the Poundland Smoothie Does It Powder. I'm going to be using this to set my under eyes and mainly my T-zone. And then I'm going to go in with the Revolution Matte Base Powder in the shade P1. This powder is really, really nice. It's really good, but it's a it's literally a smidge too dark to actually set my under eyes so I usually just go in and set the outer perimeter of my face with this. And then I'm going to be going in with the Our Heart Revolution Beckon Powder and this is the coconut scented one. So I'm not too sure if you can see that or not, but I have finally hit pan on this wee powder from Poundland. And I don't know whether it's just me or anybody else is like this, but same if I hit pan on any type of powder product or an eyeshadow palette, I feel really accomplished. Like I remember whenever I was younger and I used to hit pan on things, I used to shit myself. But because I used to think, oh my goodness, like I'm not gonna be able to afford another one. Oh my God, I'm running out of this powder. I'm running out of this product. What am I gonna do? Uh. Whereas now I love it. I think it's because I have so much makeup that I rarely am able to hit pan on some things. Whereas at the minute, I'm trying to use up as much makeup as I can just as possible because it's just getting absolutely ridiculous. I don't know, I just love it and pan. Like, don't get me wrong, say whenever I have an expensive product, I hate hit and pan. But if it costs me like a pound or it's from the drugstore, it's no problem. I just felt so like, yeah. <laughs> I hit pan, so then I'm just going to quickly just back with, as I said, the I Heart Revolution powder, and this is the coconut scented one. Um, I have, I used this for the first time. I used this the other day, just like on a wee. I used this the other day, like I just grabbed it out of my powder collection, and I just used it for the crack really, and I have been using it every set, and I have been using it every day since it's actually went into my everyday makeup bag. Crazy. <laughs> I really, really love this powder because as you can see, it is quite pale. So therefore it is going to back and brighten the areas that I want it to back and brighten. Um, but as you can see, it's also very, very pigmented. It's also a very, very pigmented, pigmented powder. But as you can see, it's also a very pigmented powder as well. Like, as you can see, like, I know that probably looks absolutely crazy right now, but as you can see, like, I have dusted it away. You can obviously see the brightness that it has left up my under eyes. Like, how good is that powder? <laughs> Love it. They also have a banana one, but obviously with it being banana, it's obviously a banana powder. It's a wee bit yellow. For my skin tone, I will admit it is a wee bit too yellow. I have the both of them. I am a wee bit pissed off that it is a wee bit too dark for me because it smells absolutely beautiful. It smells gorgeous. Before I go in and highlight, I was using the Primark Priming Water. I'm not a big fan of the spritzer in this, so I have been putting it into the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea 4 in 1 Setting Spray bottle. Um, I really love this. I have so many scent sprays and I just have been just reaching for this, it's now in my everyday makeup bag. I'm going on with the Lottie London Imagination Ultra Glow Loose Highlight in the shade Pure. I'm just giving my face just a wee quick dust, just 
all over. Then for my highlight, I'm going to be going on with the Be Perfect Cosmetics LMD Master Palette. So this is actually the old palette, whereas she did come out with a new one. This is the Master Palette, where it's just been remastered. There's a few new shades in it, so this is the packaging. I haven't actually used that palette that much on my channel. I don't actually use it that often because I was actually unaware that they were coming out with a new one. Um... But I absolutely love this palette, so I wasn't actually using it up. <laughs> that was the whole situation. I loved it that much that I just didn't want to use it up. Um, so I rarely, rarely used it. But now that we have the new one, which is basically just the same, only there is a couple more new and improved shades. And I absolutely love the highlight in this palette. So that's what we're going to be using today. I was a wee bit surprised at myself with how much I actually enjoyed this highlight because as we know, I'm a flexitarian kind of gal. I love a very artificial highlight. And don't get me wrong, like I do load it up and pile it on to the point where it does look a wee bit more artificial and blinding. But I still kind of find that it is a wee bit more subtle than my flexitarian. But I just find it just absolutely beautiful. <laughs> I just love the colour of it and everything. Like it definitely is the type of highlight that I have to tell myself to stop and put down the brush. This is the Slick Blush in Life's a Peach. I was sent this in PR um, last week. So that's just what it looks like there. It looks very, very dark. looks very, very intimidating. But it is actually a beautiful, beautiful shade. It's definitely the type of blush that you need to build up. Like, you know, it does look quite dark and very intimidating. But it's not as pigmented as it might seem. Just kind of gives you the freedom if you want to go a wee bit light hander or if you want to pile it on so it is more pigmented and i'm trying to take your guys advice with bringing my blush up like to here because i was watching one of my videos back um i was actually replying to some of the comments so i'd obviously went on to the video and it's just started playing I had the volume down obviously because once i put a video up i cannot listen to it and oh my god <laughs> i was literally applying my blush like down here like yeah like that's literally where I put my blush like down here no wonder you commented on it so thank you so much for making me see sentence <laughs> this is the makeup forever pro bronze fusion can you believe I haven't used this before I have no idea what shade it's in I'm so excited to try this I actually got this in the makeup store what is it you call that shop in Belfast the pro makeup store, the makeup store. The one that Patty McGurgan is in, I got this there. <laughs> Although I got it online. <clears throat> so, yeah. Oh! It's gone pure ball steep with this brush because I was like there's no fallout, there's no kickback, no nothing. It's clearly not getting pigment. Oh my goodness. Okay so that is an absolutely beautiful bronzer. Do you know I barely felt like I needed to blend that bronzer out. It, it was as if it just blended out by itself. So that's what the base makeup looks like. Love it! I think my orange, I think my orange, I think my cheeks look the tiniest bit orange but I think it's because it's just the bronzer and the blush kind of meshing together. I absolutely love this bronzer, it is absolutely beautiful. I love the formula of it, it just seems very very creamy. Definitely a little goes a long way. But I also want to just give you a close up of the Makeup Revolution powder. I haven't seen anybody actually talking about or raving about this but I just absolutely love it. Like I can even see see that it's nearly blurred my under eyes and my under eyes just look so smooth and just so beautiful. It's such a good powder like I've just been using it the past couple of weeks and any tutorials that I've been doing I've been using it but I've just been falling in love with it. 
<laughs> okay guys so as you can see i just went off camera there and i done my eyebrows and i also done my other eyes so the two palettes i'm going to be using today are the two e colorful palettes from colourpop so the green one is just my luck and it just looks like this and then the second one is the uh -huh honey palette and it looks like this yeah I just think these are absolutely beautiful, beautiful palettes. I just love the whole idea of the wee colourful palettes like this. Um, I do have a few of them, but these are definitely the two ones that stand out to me the most. So, And I went into this one down here at the bottom, first of all. I'm going to be taking these on the brushes I was using, I think, the last trial I had done. The Buff and Blend brushes. I do have a discount code with these brushes. Um, oh, I've, oh, I've already told you that. Have a... Yeah, yeah, I think it happened. <laughs> so this is just like a big fluffy brush. I don't usually put a big, big fluffy brush like this in my crease, but today we're breaking all the rules. I just don't care. <laughs> I'm gonna blend up into my other crease and to the brow bone. So I'm also going to bring it right out to that outer corner as well. I'm going to go in with this shade in the corner instead of going in and blending straight away. And I'm just going to pack this shade just in the crease. So just in that rounded shape. I'm not taking very much else on the brush I'm just gonna go in slightly off like those edges for Colourpop eyeshadows and the fact that they are pretty cheap they actually blend out really really well like as you can see there is pigment there they do blend they blend nicely on top of each other with them being mattes as well and I do think that the shades are absolutely beautiful like see this shade this is absolutely gorgeous like it does look like a pukey shade, but it's really, really beautiful. Next off, just going to go into the green palette, just my luck. And I'm going to take this shade down here. I'm going to keep this slightly below the crease. Because I'm not wanting to bring it up too high, because I'm not wanting to hide any of them other colours. So if I pack it down low, that means I have room to blend it up. Just gonna tap off whatever excess is on that brush and then just start by lightly just blending at that. Back into the yellow palette, gonna go in with this um shade here. So I first off just took it dry just to see how it applied and it applied absolutely beautifully but then I did notice whenever I wet it with the Primark setting spray that it did just make it that wee bit more intense but I'm just going to copy just what I've done on that other eye. I'm just going to spritz the brush with a bit of that Primark priming water. I'm going to start by blending at it a wee bit, just at the crease. Just so that it isn't like a definite line as to where I've applied the, what do you call that? The matte shades and the crease and then the shimmer on the lid. Then I'm gonna go in with the Helen A Cosmetics Clear Shine Gel. Um, Clear shine? This isn't a lip gloss, is it? Yeah, fix and gel. I was kind of wondering there because even the applicator is like a lip gloss. I was like, oh my goodness. My, have I been using a lip gloss this whole time? Um, but yeah, it's a fix and gel. So what I done was I just took the wee applicator and I just... Boop, 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 boop. Boop, boop, Just pat it randomly just all over that lid went into that brush again I'm just going to pat it over randomly so this is just going to spread it out and then get rid of the excess and make it slightly tacky 
This shade in here in the middle is a press glitter. Um, as far as I'm aware, most people don't really like press glitters. Well, that's the impression I get of uh instagram so i'm just gonna take that just on my finger oh my god it's so beautiful so i'm not gonna swipe with these i'm just going to pat them down and then for lashes i have no idea what these are called but these are balaji lashes they're the lashes that i was wearing in my previous video um my current favorites so they will be linked and listed down below Okay guys, so with that lashes on, I just went ahead and just on my lower lash line. I just didn't do anything too exciting for the lower lash line. I just used a couple of those shades, just willy-nilly, higgledy-piggledy anywhere. Um, <laughs> but for lips, this is a lip combo I have been loving recently. And surprisingly, it's a Jeffree Star liquid lipstick. I'm not the biggest fan of his liquid lipsticks. Anything I've actually tried from his makeup brand, I haven't liked. I'm not a fan of his highlighters and I'm not a fan of his liquid lips and I haven't tried his eyeshadow palette yet. Um, so yeah, it's it's a wee bit weird. <laughs> the one reason I don't like his liquid lipsticks is I'm not a fan of his liquid lipstick formula. Um, I'm sorry to take you off your high horse Jeffrey but you have not got the best liquid lipstick formula out there I would say Kylie Jenner actually does um but yeah I find that his formula is very very drying on the lips and it nearly goes like nearly two shades darker than actually how it applies and I just kind of find that because I don't have lip filler or anything I find that I just have very naturally wrinkly lips as well and it just accentuates nearly every line in my lips especially whenever I wear his liquid lipsticks um but what I have been doing is I've just been applying a lip balm before I apply them before I apply his liquid lipsticks and they're fine they're perfect I cannot fault them then after that so yeah I could drag this all day long but then as soon as I moisturize my lips it's not really any fault to the liquid lipstick anymore I still do disagree with him that he has the best liquid lipstick formula he doesn't um so yeah I just... <laughs> I'm just gonna put this on <laughs> It's just the way lip balm, by the way, I don't use care what it is. <laughs> the lip liner I've been using is the Revlon Colorstay in the shade Nude. And I do apologise that I forgot to tell you what the liquid lipstick is called. And it's in the shade Mannequin. That smells off. <laughs> That smells so off. Oh, look how beautiful that colour is, though. Oh, that is stunning. I've had this since it was released, <laughs> and I've just started using it, so yeah, it probably is out of date. I love it. It's so nice. This is the liquid lipstick I have just been reaching towards. So much recently okay guys so this completes this makeup tutorial i hope you still enjoyed thank you so so much for watching and everything that i use today will be linked and listed down below in the description box along with my twitter snapchat and my instagram and also my depop so don't forget to go ahead and follow me on those and again thank you so so much for watching and i hope to see you all in my next video